Hey guys, Nary here from Drakewing Game. It's me on Twitter, the Gaming Dragon. Today I'm coming back at you, as you can see, with a new Let's Play episode of Dawn Chorus. Lakes update just dropped, so we are jumping right back into that really, really cute lion boy. So look, guys, go ahead and uh, just join me for the next 18 minutes while I entertain you. Let's jump right in. Alarm train, you are up, and let's friggin' go. All right. Mm-mm. All right. I'm left alone with Lake. Oh, hold up. What was this? I left alone with Lake. Is everything all right, Carvin? Only now I notice I'm trembling. I think I got invested emotionally in this all a bit, a bit too much. Jorgen doesn't have it easy. Yeah, he's incredibly brave. I sit down on Lake's bed and close my eyes. My paws are trembling. I try to keep them still, but they refuse to listen to me. Hey, Carvin? Deep breaths now. In. And out. In. I feel a sudden rattling under my back. And then again. Turning around, I see that I was leaning against the door. Peeking inside, I'm met only with darkness. Then the water rushes in from the ceiling. Hey, everything is fine. Lake is sitting next to me on the bed and snuggling me tightly. His mane tickles my whiskers. I let my body go limp and just lean in his embrace. Lake. I dread coming out to my parents. I know that nothing like what happened to Jorgen could happen to me, but I still dread it just the same. I more cling to Lake than snuggle him, my paws gripping my paws, my paws gripping the fabric of his t-shirt and the fur underneath. You smell nice. D do I? Well, he does too. Um, Lake runs Lake runs a paw. Lake's paw runs along my back, pressing pressing lightly, and then starts to circle me circle, kneading at my tense up my tense muscles. Slowly, I relax in Lake's arms and rest my head on his shoulder. There we go, leaning back now. Lake's breath is hot on my neck, keeping me warm, warming me up. Better? A bit. At least the shivering stopped. What happened? Poor Jorgen, it wasn't easy to listen to. I took that a bit too personally too, maybe. But I'm fine, I'm more concerned about him. He'll be fine too, he's strong and resilient. Heart of steel. Lake's voice is firm, but concern is still obvious on his face. In any case, he's at least not caving in. No, that's way past him. It wouldn't really fit him anyway. I don't think he caved in under pressure, like, ever. We sit in silence for a while. Me leaning on Lake, Lake propped up on his arm, gazing at the ceiling, both looking for something to say. But it's Lake that speaks up first. Oh, by the way, I thought about throwing some small party this evening, after dinner. I don't have any solid ideas yet. But we have a whole free evening. It would be nice to do something. Yeah, I bet. Uh, do you want to just invite people here? I've never thought about going somewhere else. Jorgen would kill me if we ended up ended up with drunk people parting late into the night here. Say, Carvin, would you be fine with me getting Torolf here, getting Torolf here for a while? I want to ask him what he thinks about it. Sure thing. It's your room after all. And Torolf seemed like a cool person. I wouldn't mind spending some more time with him. Okay, I'll drop him a message. Lake takes out his phone and types something before putting it beside him on the bed. Am I really okay with it? Being here alone with Lake is quite nice. Though, I bet I'll have many more occasions for that. Hey, what's up? Oh. Garvin? Oh, I would sure like would mention that I'm also here. Hello! Nice seeing you here, too. Trolf sits down on the bed between me and Lake, the mattress bending under his weight so that we both lean on him. I'm lucky to have two cute cats next to me. Not a cat! Sure thing, that cute curved tail of yours rubbing against my back definitely shows how much you don't like being called that. Shush, you! My muscles tense up a bit. I'm not sure if I like how much Lake is flustered right now. Anyway, I thought we could do some small gathering this evening. What do you think? As a whole free evening. We could use it creatively. Good idea. We could do something in my room, if you're not, if you're not fine with organizing a party here. Though, remember, it's not, it's not bigger than this one. I don't feel too good about that idea for some reason. I think going, the, I think going, doing this on a neutral ground would be better. How about we use the common room? It's big enough to, to fit half the science club, and it's a chill place. Oh, that's a nice idea. We could fit a lot of people there. You're right. That would work best. We spend some more time discussing ideas for the little get-together, then just sit back and relax, talking. Lake's excitement is truly admirable. I really enjoy spending time with him. And Torolf, I'm getting some weird vibes from him sometimes, especially when he gets closer to Lake. 
maybe I'll get used to him. Sure, European capital cities are nice to visit, but they have nothing on Bangkok. Apart from London, maybe. London is wild. I wish I've seen a third. I wish I've seen a third of the places you visited. How about you, Carvin? Where have you been? Torolf turned out to be a talkative tiger, and he dominated the conversation easily. Though Lake tries to skew the balance, that include me too. Myself, I'm content with just listening. As Torolf's stories are quite interesting, but it's nice to be able to have some input too. I didn't travel much. My parents aren't fans, and I didn't have many occasions to go alone or with friends either. Let's see. I was in Sweden a few times, and I've seen Norway, of course. Oh, and I was in Sicily once. That was so nice. The southern sun warming up my fur, the coast meandering and rocky, and the coast meandering and rocky, the sea eating into the land. All the cannoli, cassata, arancini. I start to salivate just thinking about it. I'd be happy to go again, maybe in spring, when it won't be that hot and it will be less crowded. Oh, going together could be awesome. Trips with friends are the best. Imagine the three of us could go together. Maybe during the winter break. It's not that long from now. I wish I had the money for it. Besides, I'll likely go home for the break. But for now, I can let Lake dream. I won't, and I won't lie, it's an enticing perspective. Maybe someday, once I find a job. I let these two chat and, imme and immerse myself in visions of the warm Sis in warm Sicily. In the... Blah! In visions of the warm Sicily with its mountainous landscape and Mediterranean sun. Lake bumps against my shoulder unintentionally. Three of us are all full of full and happy, but also sleepy. The food coma slowly setting in. What to do now? We have the rest of the day for ourselves. I think Lake mentioned something about a gathering before dinner. Hey, Lake? Hmm? You wanted to organize something in the common room, right? Oh, yeah, uh, I'd give us a couple minutes to rest and get to it. Torolf, you're coming too? I'll meet you in a while. Drop me a message where you'll be going to the common room, okay? Oh, that's... Good. As much as I like him, it would be nice to spend some time with Lake only. Sure. Torolf gives us a wave before walking away to his room. You want to stick around, Carvin? Yeah, maybe I could help. I could help with something. Home sweet home. Lake slips his shirt off his shoulders and tosses it onto the back of a chair. Do you want something to drink or anything else? Thanks, I'm fine. I mean, we've just had dinner. We both ate so much, I'm surprised we could even walk. Okay, I think I'll get to sending out messages right away. Who are you inviting, by the way? Well, our friends, and if they bring someone with them, that's even better. So, who? At least everyone from our breakfast table. I like them all a lot. That's nice to hear. Jorgen, I didn't notice he was already here. I thought you forgot about us already. How would I? I skipped Coach Devin, though. It would be weird having him there. I still think it's weird Rune is hanging out with him. You think they're like, you know... Is there something between them? They don't have to. They don't have to fuck to be friends. Besides, isn't Coach Dev? Isn't to Coach Devin his coach? As far as I know, no. Not like it matters much, though. It's just weird having a teacher sit with us. I suppose, but he seems fine. He doesn't talk much, and he doesn't seem to judge us either. Great. I'll send everyone messages in a minute. Lake sits down in his bed with a sigh. <laughs> that was really a lot of. Uh, Kili, Kilikarili. And it was a terrifying sight, seeing them disappear one by one inside the lake. Lake, lake lies down, kicking his shoes from his paws. Now that I think about it, every time I see him making food back, every time I see him making food back in the dormitory, it had always been a mountain of spaghetti or a whole mixing bowl of. Mi of, of, of Bibim, bibimbap? Bibimbap. I've always assumed that he was cooking for two or three days ahead, but maybe not. How is he staying so slim, though? Want something to drink? Thanks, I'm fine. Had some coffee with dinner. I'll make, like, some coffee for when he wakes up. If you'll, you'll, if you'll want some too, just ask. Wakes up? I look at Lake's dead, and indeed, he's lying still on his side, his eyes closed. His face looks peaceful and almost childlike like that, as if the sleep lifted any worries from him. Happens to him sometime. Happens to him often. Especially during lectures. Jorgen puts on some water in the kettle, and I sit down on the mattress on the floor beside Lake, grabbing my phone. Nothing really happened inside my own bubble in the virtual world. No messages, no mail, no breaking news. I browse Chirper for a while, having the water boiling in the kettle as my soundtrack, before I get bored of it and put my, put my phone back in my pocket. A delicious smell of coffee fills the room shortly after, 
Now I'm starting to regret not asking for a cup. Is that your own coffee? It smells delicious. Yes. I got it from an anarchist cafe in Anzo that imports the beans from Zap... From Zap... Zapatistas. From Zapatistas. It's the smell of social justice. Whenever I hear of coffee beans, I feel uneasy. There's something inappropriate about the fact that coffee is made from beans. But something else in Jorgen's statement caught my attention. Zapatistas? It's a self-governing movement within Mexico, founded on the ideas of equality and liberty. I'd recommend reading some articles. It will, it will for sure explain the background better than I can. Jorgen takes a sip from his own cup, liquid inside pitch black with only a minuscule amount of foaming. And they make bloody good coffee. So, you want some as well? I nod. I knew you would, so I made more ahead. So here's my kind of thought about government in general. It doesn't matter. I honestly don't think it matters what government, form of government you have. Like, no, no, no matter how pure the intention of the government. Like, if a government gets overthrown and gets replaced by something, a uh, hundred, a hundred fucking percent, it's eventually going to become corrupt. You know why? Because people are easily manipulated and corruptible. All it takes is the right amount of money or power. Yep, that's all it takes, people. Like, uh, a temptation is a hell of a thing. Like, most people would kind of, mo most people would be like, oh, you know, maybe, maybe a little bit more money on the side wouldn't hurt. And then there, and then there you go, you've got lobbyists entering the building, and you're calling favors from oil companies and all kinds of shit. Yeah, so, eventually, a pro-anarchist movement will also succumb to corruption from within. That's just how it works. <laughs> I knew you would, so I made more ahead. Jurgen pours half the coffee remaining in the coffee pot into a clean cup and passes it to me. Careful, it's hot. Oh, I know. I grab the side cup and hiss from the immediate burning sensation, swiftly putting it on the table, but not without spilling some on my fingers, further burning them. I meant the cup. They heat up quickly. My bad. Thanks. Keeping the cup on the table, I take a small tasting sip. It really is good. As good as it smelled. Dark, roasted, bitter, but not too much. I could even taste some fruits in there. Oh, wow. Right. If you've ever, if you've only ever had supermarket quality coffee, this right here is a revelation. I like coffee, but I haven't had any experience with the fancier stuff. I was and am just a, just a jobless student after all. We drink our coffees in silence, punctuated only by Lake's gentle snoring. My thoughts meander back to today's morning and the scars below Jorgen's chest, hidden under some clothes. Many questions come to my head, but I'm not sure if it's okay to ask them, so I remain silent. I wouldn't want to invade his privacy, and judging by the situation with his parents earlier today, it's a delicate topic. While we're slowly finishing coffee, the snoring gradually fades, and when I glance at Lake, I see him looking at us with sleepy eyes. That smells nice. There's some for you, too. Aw, you're so nice to me. Lake gets up from his bed and joins us at the table, summoned by the power of the black liquid. Jorgen passes him the remaining cup and takes Lake, ta Lake takes a tasting sip, followed by a discontent rumble. Do you have some milk for that? To murder such fine coffee with milk? What next? Sugar? Yes, please. Jorgen stands up and walks away to fetch milk and sugar for Lake, murmuring some impressive curses under his breath. Fairly warm already. How long was I out? Half an hour at most. Not that bad for you. Remember how you slipped through the whole classical physics test and had to return on an empty on an empty page? Had to return an empty page? It's not my fault my roommate doesn't let me sleep at night. Living in a dorm is a, is a never-ending struggle. Anyway, I'll finish the coffee quickly and send out messages. It would be nice to start with something soon. Judging by the sky, it's almost sunset already. Lake sips on the coffee, holding the holding his phone in the other paw, sending the copy text message over and over to other several members in the chat. Okay, all messages sent. Can you help me with moving things to the common room? Things like... Like the crate of beer I brought with me? Count me out. I don't drink any. At all? At all. I'm sure he has his reasons, but... As he didn't seem to, as he didn't mention them himself, it seems rude of me to ask. I can help. It doesn't sound like too much. Thanks. Oh, I love these animations. Hungry, hungry. Hungry, hungry, Bjorn. Phew! Why are you sighing? You made Carve and carry, carry everything for you, and you didn't even lift a finger. Hey, I needed free pause in case someone would reply, and they did. 
Travis said he'll be here soon, and he'll be bringing Bjorn, too. You can put the crate anywhere, Carvin. Thanks. No problem. My back. I had no idea beer could weigh this much. I put the crate down beside the table with the player with the, with the the player and lean against the wall. So, what are we doing now? Waiting for the rest, I guess. And we can play some music in the meantime. Any ideas? Something lively and inviting would be nice. We don't want to scare people off. I woke up to the record player near the wall and glanced at the very, at the not very extensive but well cared for collection of vinyls, looking for something fitting. Huh, this looks cheerful. I grab a vinyl with a cool looking dude on the cover. Hop, skip, and the chew toys inscribed at the top. Do you know this one? No. Um. <clears throat> no, I haven't heard. Hmm, let's try. This'll do. Hello! What are you listening to? Miko, wearing his usual jacket, steps inside the room and approaches us. I greet him with a nod, and he responds with the same. Something I found here. I haven't heard of the band. I haven't heard of the band before, but the album cover looks look promising. And hey, how are you doing? I'm fine, thanks. Miko, hey there. I'm glad you're here. You're the first one to arrive, even. First, but there's three of you already here. Yeah, but we're sort of all organizing it. Not me. I wouldn't say no, I wouldn't say so about me either. I just helped you with the beer. So, anyway, what are we going to do? Playing a board game would be nice, but I don't have any. I was sure the guest, house, the guest house would have some, but instead they have an oddly hip selection of vinyls? Maybe the owner's a fan. Miko, did you bring any by any chance? No, sadly. I wanted to, but my bags were full. Let's sit down first, and then we can think. The four of us sit down around the table. Let me load the music just a tad. Music is good, though. Alright, the four of us sit, there, sit down around the table. I sit down on the couch and Lake joins me, while Miko and Jorgen, and Jorgen each take a chair. This room is so nice! I wish we had something like this back at our dorm. I think most students just meet in their dorms or go to the bar further down the road. By the way, if we don't have any board games, how about some party games, if we don't have anything better to do? Party games? Like what? Something like Spin the Bottle. This feels very much like an occasion for Spin the Bottle. Spin the Bottle? Sounds good to me. What a great idea! Spin the Bottle? Torolf. He's standing at the entrance, leaning on the doorframe and looking at us. Miko smiles at Torolf, but it's a smile I know too well. I can easily tell that he's uncomfortable seeing the tiger. Torolf! Good to see you! I told you I'd come, so here I am. So, so, what do you think? Want to play Spin the Bottle? Sounds good. It provides some opportunities. How about some beer to make the game even more fun? Sure, thanks. Oh, and I brought something stronger for later. What kind of beer do you have here, Lake? Just some pills there they had in the store. It's all right. A bottle for a good start could be nice. I remember Miko's, dis I remember Miko's disdain for alcohol. I wonder if he started drinking since then. Anyone else? I'm fine. You know I don't drink. I brought some lemonade with me. Alright guys, I'm gonna pause it right here. Thank you so much for watching. Lake is back! Yes! Dawn Chorus is back! Alright guys, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, ring that notification bell. Leave a super thanks or a tip if you can, it always helps. Until the next video, I love you all. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye!